What's up, my sister? Oh, welcome back, my brother. O2. this is Mary with a great video. I'm here to do some African catfish soup with okra. What I have here is crayfish. I have here is some shrimp bouillon cubes. I have here is some red uh, palm oil. This is optional. I'm not really using this. I'm telling you that you can use it. Here is some adobo season. And we have here one pack of sasa. We have two of these Scotch bunnies, which is hot and narrow peppers. And I'm gonna put one red onion. Stay tuned and watch. I'm gonna cut up the onion right now and I will be back with this great video. You don't wanna miss this. Stay tuned, watch it to the end. Okay, on the okra, I'm gonna show you how I cut up my okra before I put it in the dish, but I always put it in last because okra seem to be very slimy, so you don't wanna put it in there before you cook the soup. Okay, the catfish is already washed and clean. I'm gonna put it like so. We're gonna let that come to a boil, but right now we're gonna put gonna put just go front and go back let's go front and back we're gonna add our onions that fish cook really fast so you want uh Catfish cook really fast. This is a very easy, simple soup to make. That's all I'm gonna put in there for right now. I'm gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes and I'm gonna add my other ingredients. Okay, this is how the soup is looking. Okay, right now I'm going to add one of the shrimp maggot cubes inside. You can get the shrimp mac cues at any, any of your markets. And it makes a very nice broth. Okay, I'm gonna add one pack of sasson in here. Great color. Like I said, I'm not gonna add the palm oil. I'm gonna get the color from this. The palm oil is optional. Like I said, you don't have to put it because this fish cooks so fast, so if you want to put it, you have to put it right on the water. It's boiling. Okay, so right now, I'm going to take some liquid out. Take some liquid out like so, and I'm going to blend up the scotch, I mean, I'm blending up the jalanero pepper from this stock. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I cut my okra. I'm gonna show you how I cut it. I bring it like this, like this, and like this. Just cut it down the center like, like four in four. Let's put them together like so. This is how I cut up my okra for my soup. Okay, I'm gonna finish cutting it up and I'll be back. Okay, our catfish is looking great. Okay, just blend up the jalanero. We're gonna pull this inside. The two jalanero blend up. I'm gonna mix like so. Try not to, your fish is gonna break up a little bit, but not so much, cause you gotta eat it with the uh, fufu. And I will be making my favorite, which is the oatmeal fufu, to eat with it. So stay tuned and watch. Okay, I just blend up some crayfish. 
I want to put it like so in the inside so it can cook with the fish. It's to your liking. You can put any amount you want. It's a two ounce bag, so I don't use the whole thing. I just, I mean, I can make two soups out of, of that, so. It makes your food taste so good. This is a very nice dish for even weight loss. Uh, I mean, it's very healthy. It's an African dish, but it's very healthy. So right now, like I say, this cooks really fast. I'm gonna add the okra down. Now this smells so good. Like I say, stay tuned and watch. I fix all different cultures of food. This is my sister O and my brother O food though. It is good though. You go home and cook this for your husband. Like, oh, it's so sweet though. So sweet. Okay, the okra is the last thing you put in. It, the okra don't cook that long. That's why it's the last thing I put in. And we'll be back a few minutes and it will be done. Okay, everyone. This is the finishing of our catfish okra soup. It looks so delicious and it tastes delicious, y'all. You have to try it at home. Share this video with your friends. Right now, I'm about to make some oatmeal fufu. Stay tuned and watch, and I'm gonna plate it up. Okay, right now, I'm about to make some oatmeal fufu. This is the oatmeal that I use. You can use this one, uh, the old fashioned one. And this is the sticks that I make it with. I'm used to smaller one because it's just me and my son. When I use the big one, that's I make a whole lot more fufu. So right now I'm boiling some water right now and I'm about to blend up the oatmeal to become really fine. I'm blend like so. You want to grind it up until it looks like flour. Okay, you always want to make sure that your water is boiling. Okay, this is the, the oatmeal. Just put a little in at a time so you can see where you're going. Okay, need the whole thing. Sometimes you need a little bit more because this is a lot of water. So I'm gonna blend up a little bit more. I'll be back. Okay, we just add a little bit more. Your oatmeal would suck, suck up the water. So you just want, you don't want it too. You can, you can take it off and turn it like so. Add a little bit more. Just turn it like so. Just mainly cooking it to it thicken up. Just go ahead and add the rest of this, just a little bit. See how it, it would get harder? It gets harder every time. Just get it like so, turn it, smash it, turn it. Once it stops sticking to the pot, it's really done. See how it stops sticking? Okay. Okay, I just played up the okra and catfish soup. It looks so delicious. So delicious. You know, to add more flavor, it already have a lot of flavor, but 
on top of that, you can put this, and this is the oatmeal fufu, what I'm gonna eat it with. Me and my son are gonna share it in, that's a lot. So, this right here, you want some extra flavor, put you some Maggie, put you some skirts like this here, girl, ooh, my sister, oh! I want you to thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more African dishes. Stay tuned for all culture of dishes. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like, turn on your post notifications so you can, every time I upload a video, you will be notified automatically. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.